Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another video of our stack series and in this video we are going to look at another problem which is called next data element. So before you watch this uh, video I would like to recommend you to watch our previous video which is stock span because both the questions are like a slight variation of each other. Alright, so without any further ado let's uh, dive into the problem. So given an array size n having distinct elements. The task is to find the next greater element for each element of the array in order to their appearance in the array. Alright. Next greater element of an element in an array is the nearest element on the right, which is greater than the current element. If there does not exist next greater or current element, then next greater element for current element is minus one. Okay. So what's happening here is let's take this uh, let's take this one, uh, this example, 6803, alright. 6, 8, 0, 1, 3. So what is the element which is greater than 6 and just write to it? That is 8. So its answer would be 8. What is the uh, greater element than 8 and just write to it? There is no. So our answer would be minus 1. What about 0? It would be 1. Even 3 is greater than 0 but we have to just, we have to find the number which is just right to 0. So that would be 1. For 1 it is going to be uh, 3 and for 3 there is no element left so it is going to be minus 1. Okay. So as I have already discussed the main logic in our previous video stock span so if you haven't watched you may go and watch it. Otherwise I will just directly dive into how we use a stack here. Okay. Suppose I go from here Alright, so initially obviously the last element will always have answer as minus 1. So I just put this one here. Alright, now what, I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check uh, 1, the current element. So I'll check if the current element is uh, greater than 3 or smaller than 3. It is obviously smaller than 3. So I'll have answer here as 1. And for here, it would be 3. Now I come to 0. For 0, it is smaller than 1. So obviously, answer is going to be 0. For 0, it is going to be the s dot top, which is 1. Now I, I come at 8. For 8, 8 is greater than 0. So I will remove the top element. It is greater than 1. I will remove the top element. It is greater than 3. I will remove the top element. So since our stack is empty here, so my answer would be for it would be minus 1 and I just put 8 here. Now for 6, uh, 8 is obviously greater than 6 so I just uh, put the answer as 8 here. Alright. So this is the basic idea. Alright. Now let's talk about how to code this thing. Okay. So obviously we need a stack of long long let's name it as and obviously we are going to need a vector uh, it is going to be res all right cool um now 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 um what can we have here is okay mm. all right uh res dot push back would be minus one and s dot push would be array n minus one. Right now I'll simply say for int i is equal to zero while is it would be i n minus one i more than zero it would be n minus two right okay i minus minus hmm. so i'll say while not s dot empty and and s dot top is less than or equal to array i i'm going to do 
एस डॉट पॉपियर ओके नाउ आई से इफ एस डॉट एम टी रेज डॉट पुश बैक आई पुश बैक माइनस वन मिनट एल्स आई सिंपली पुश बैक टॉप इन इट एस डॉट टॉप राइट ओके सो दिस इज वॉट वी हैव डन टिल नाउ एंड इन दी एंड आई सिंपली एस डॉट पुश एरे आई in the end i'll reverse my hmm uh res dot begin and res dot end and in the end i'll simply return res okay compile this code hope it would work okay we are getting the correct output let's try some of this code Okay, cool. We are solving. Nice. Hmm. So uh, we have done this question. All right. It was just a slight variation of the previous one. In the previous one, which we have to find the greater element on the left. Here we have to find the greater element on the right. Okay. So I hope you understand the logic here and how to use the stack here. And thanks for watching this video. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any doubts, please put it in the comment section. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.